We're going to do two different versions of easy rolling in our developmental movement pattern warm-up. The first of which is going to be with a leg driver, and the second of which is going to be with an arm driver. So, I'm going to lie on my back with my legs out, my arms up. I'm not going to worry about trying to maintain the connection between my low back and the floor while I'm in this position. It's probably not going to happen unless I'm really, really good at the dead bug, in which case you're not going to have that much of a problem with easy rolling. So the leg driver version of easy rolling, I'm going to pick one leg way up. I'm going to reach it across my body, but without engaging any of the muscles in my upper extremities. I'm just going to let the weight of the leg and reaching with my toe pull me over until I'm face down. Then that same leg is going to lead on the way back. I'm going to bend it. I'm going to reach it back. I'm going to try to leave my upper body off. And just keep reaching until I'm pulled back over. If I run into a sticking point, which I do on the way back, not so much on the way over, but on the way back, right there, my body tries to turn on the upper extremities. Instead of letting it turn on the upper extremities, I'm going to take a deep breath in and reach further on the exhale. And that breath gets me through the sticking point. So that's easy rolling with the leg driver. Now I'm going to show you with the arm driver. With the arm driver, I'm also going to use my head to help pull me over. So I'm going to pick up my head, I'm going to look the direction I'm intending to roll and reach that direction, keeping the legs dead. Now this is where it's really tough to make the rest of the body pass it. As I'm reaching across, my opposite butt cheek, uh, so I'm reaching across with my right hand, I'm rolling to my left, my right butt cheek is trying to help and push me over, and my right leg will actually try to pick up and go over. I'm gonna to try to shut this down and just breathe through my sticking point. Reach and sort of spread the fingers and actively reach and you'll get back over. Same thing on the way back. My head's gonna come up. I'm gonna think about looking the direction I'm going and reach back that way without letting the legs get involved and flop back over. It's my job to make easy rolling look uh, easy so that my students know that it can be easy. It's not that easy. Uh, the reason it's easier for me is because I know how to turn on and shut off various parts of my body to create movement. The reason is because I've been doing this for 20 years, uh, not training uh, students necessarily, but working out, exercising, I'm familiar with how to get more out of my body uh, with strength training techniques. So I can make easy rolling look easy. It's not. And the first time I did it, I was so thrown off. Like this big, strong guy, I'm supposed to be able to do whatever I want with my body. And I was just stapled to the floor. I could not figure it out. So easy rolling can be a frustrating thing to, to learn. Uh, but... It's a great way to get the muscles that surround the trunk to stabilize the spine in the presence of movement elsewhere in the body. This is where a lot of low back pain comes from, is instability in the middle of the body. Well, if you can get the deep muscles of the trunk to work the way they're supposed to with dead bug, with easy rolling patterns, with crawling, you're going to have a lot less frustration and hopefully a lot less discomfort uh, in your back due to instability. It's going gonna, it's gonna to get on lockdown. It's going to figure out what it's supposed to do. And that in turn is going to help your hips and shoulders move more freely. So that's one of the reasons why we do the developmental movement patterns. You gotta get those trunk muscles to do what they're supposed to do in real human movement. So those are the rolling patterns. Easy rolling with either the leg driver or the arm driver. 
Next up, it's rocking. And we'll show you two different versions of that. 